The Haunted Game System, a retro horror story. In early 1990, an obscure gaming console was released, which went unnoticed by most people. The console went by the name of Phantom, and it was known for its mysterious properties that no one could explain. Rumors started to surface about the console, claiming that it would mysteriously appear in second-hand stores and garage sales, only to vanish as quickly as it appeared. But the most disturbing rumors painted the picture of the console being cursed, haunted by the ghost of a child, who died while playing on it. The story goes that if you find the Phantom and plug it in, it will show you a game that was never released, a game that is rumored to have driven the child who played it to madness, and eventual suicide. One day, a collector was browsing a garage sale when he spotted the Phantom. It was in perfect condition and came with the controller and cables. Impulsively, he bought it, curious to see if the rumors were true. As soon as he got home, he plugged in the console and turned it on. It made a strange noise, and then the game started. The game was called, A Child's Nightmare, and it was a creepy 2D platformer, where you controlled a small child trying to escape from a haunted house. The game had strange elements, the environment would change with no warning, enemies would appear and attack the child from nowhere. The sound effects were chilling, and the background music was an eerie lullaby that would linger in your mind long after. You had turned off the console. The collector thought it odd when the game started over after completing the final level. As he tried to switch off the console, he noticed something. The console had no off button. He tried to unplug it, but it wouldn't come out of the socket. Panicking, he realized that something was very wrong. That night, he experienced terrible nightmares of the child, who had died playing the game. His dreams were filled with the sound of the lullaby, that had played in the background of the game. The collector eventually gave the console to a friend, hoping to rid himself of the cursed object. The friend never heard from him again, but rumor has it that the friend found the collector a week later, dead in his house, clutching the phantom console.